Hey everybody, Herc here from Team Scilabs, and I'm here to bring you the first video of a new series on tips and tricks for Super Smash Bros Ultimate. But more on that later. For today's video, I'd like to focus on the simple act of turning around and why performing it correctly can be the difference between victory and defeat. A few months ago, my Smash Corner put out a video on attack cancelling and its applications, including using the technique to perform instant turnaround back airs. I won't go into detail on attack cancelling here, as they were pretty thorough. Seriously, go watch the video, it's great. As great as attack cancelling is, as a technique, it has a couple of limitations. You can't full hop attack cancel, for example, or turn around Z drop for when you have an item in hand. When attack cancelling, you're fully committed to some kind of short hop aerial. With that in mind, I'd like to discuss a technique I feel isn't talked about nearly as much as it should be. The Instant Reverse Air Rush, or IRAR, as it will be referred to for the rest of the video. In Smash Bros Ultimate, there are two new unique ways to turn around during your dash. Pivot Up Smash, and Pivot Jump. Let's look at Pivot Jumping for now. Every character's dash length is different, but generally, during frames 2 through 5 of your dash, you can input jump and back on the control stick on the same frame, and your character will perform a backwards facing jump with forward dash momentum, no turnaround frame needed. Besides being much faster than performing a regular reverse aerial rush after waiting for your character's dash to end, it also affords you certain unique advantages over attack cancelling, like full hop instant back airs and instant pivot Z drops. If you're trying to pivot jump on the soonest possible frame of your dash, frame 2, it can be difficult to time, as it's essentially two frame perfect inputs one after the other. However, you can buffer the dash during another animation and input the IRAR as the dash comes out to make the timing much more manageable. This benefits some characters like Mega Man greatly, who can combo off of his buffered short hop Z drop, but needs to have his back facing the opponent in order to do it. Getting IRAR buffered Z drop down as a whiff punish and combo extender opens the floodgates for so much potential. Here's some cool examples to hopefully inspire further creativity. Well that just about does it for today, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of the new content coming soon. See you next time.